So branding and topical authority is Google looking around your site, on-site stuff, off-site stuff, in order to determine where you show up in ranking. Right. If you basically, if you know what you're talking about, if you're an authority in your business, in, yeah. your, in, your, in your industry. And you can't have a website and web effort and overall, on, overall online presence go stagnant and, and have topical authority on any branding recognition from Google. Yeah. Which, Think of it like your website is your storefront. Um, and if your storefront is dark, it is really pretty, but the lights are off yeah. and it looks like no one ever goes in or out. That yeah. looks like it's out of business. Yeah. And that's how Google views it. If nothing ever happens to it, it's... So I would agree with that. It used to be that. And now, but now they've taken it a step further. It's like, okay, not only are you not active, but you're not active and we don't see all these other signals coming in. Hey there, guys. It's Nolan and Jason here. Howdy. We're going to discuss why regular work on your web effort is important. Right. All right. Seems a little basic, but it's always worth coming back to this because it's actually one of the main it's, things about yeah, ongoing it's SEO. It's basic, but it's what, you know, I'd say that 90 plus percent of people have trouble with this. Right, right. Like, uh, I guess I'm like, Nolan, I need a, I need, um, you know, I need a website designed. And, 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 and you do, yeah. but... <laughs> but you need a website worked on is actually so, just as important. Because Google grades everything all the time. Right. And then it's even gotten, we were just talking about it before we started up, but it's changed, the way the algorithm views things has changed because it is looking regularly. It's looking at your overall branded effort, which has begun to be coined, uh, what, topical authority. Right. So, right. And, and the... So branding and topical authority is Google looking around your site, on-site stuff, off-site stuff, in order to determine where you show up in ranking. Right. If you basically, if you know what you're talking about, if you're an authority in your business, in, yeah. your, in, your, in your industry. And you can't have a website and web effort and overall, on, overall online presence go stagnant and, and have topical authority or any branding recognition from Google. Yeah. Which, Think of it like your website is your storefront. Um, and if your storefront is dark, it is really pretty, but the lights are off yeah. and it looks like no one ever goes in or out. That yeah. looks like it's out of business. Yeah. And that's how Google views it. If nothing ever happens to it, it's... So I would agree with that. It used to be that. And now, but now they've taken it a step further. It's like, okay, not only are you not active, but you're not active and we don't see all these other signals coming in. Right. right. So it might be it might be blogging and new content. It might be reviews regularly coming in or working a GMB account or code base changes. It could be social signals and activity on social media. Yeah, and you'll notice he listed off like 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 we often do when we get to this part of the podcast. He listed off a whole bunch of stuff and that's because it needs to be a little bit of that all the time. It's not just, it's not one thing. It's, it's not, not just, just a, blog. Oh, that's it's not a Facebook thing. post. I need it's content not a blog. written. It's yeah. not just this one thing. Right. It's it's this myriad of things that you have to do. Right. And you, you have to do them in, a, in an organic fashion. I think you could actually have like a really, you could go get a template based website, which we don't do, and like write blogging nonstop to it. And it probably wouldn't work very well. Anyway. We've we've even found evidence that if you overdo that, yeah, if you the, if if you overdo the amount of content you add to where you have like hundreds of articles that no one's ever seen, compared, it actually drags your rank down compared to the industry, maybe. So uh, right, Google yeah. will tend to grade stuff based upon other similar websites. So the if the industry norm in your category has like twenty pages and you have twenty five hundred. Then it might might be a problem. Yeah, if you have twenty five hundred pages and people go to them, it was all good pages. Then, you, then yeah. you're 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 great. Trash. If it's but trash if you have a pages, bunch of trash, yeah. that that's how they decide that it's trash. That no one ever looks at it. Yeah. So things that we do to help people run the race, as we call it, we call it a horse race. So we blog regularly. We add content. We change content. We change code base. We go into their GMB and do citations. And one of the cooler things that we do now that very much works into topical authority and branding is we have uh, um, some proprietary software that we use here called Righteous Reviews, and it allows people to, I, I talk about it all the time. Yeah, it's now. exciting as hell. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I really, because 
Well, you know what I like about it really more than anything is that, for one thing, there's only like two or three softwares like this in the nation. Yeah, that, that, are, that, that even come close. That even come close. But just close. They don't, they don't get They don't do level. everything we do. Yeah. And they charge like 350 bucks a month just for that. Right. And and the problem with it is it's band-aided on as an afterthought. Right. So if you want to look at proper SEO work, it's like our stuff is built from code base from ground up with SEO in mind, content from ground up, and then reviews and reputation management is also coded in from the beginning stages. If you come slap something on as afterthought, so take this cheap template and add content, take this cheap template with the content and add reviews, then right. everything gets band-aided on and it, it's clunky and doesn't work well and isn't set up properly. So when you have righteous reviews added in the beginning with the code base and all the service and city pages and inside the site, and you then you check in at a job sites and it's wrapped in schema code for geo checking and pins dropped on a map on inside the website and the check ins actually per service page and per city page. That's activity on a scale that nobody in your market has. Yeah. And Google sees, oh, you went to this location and you did this job. And then if you did your proper follow up and got the review, yeah. you see the review tagged to that job. They said, oh, not only did you go to this location, which right. you claim you work in. Oh, now we have proof. You did this service, which you claim to do, and now we have proof. And now we have a customer review verifying that you did that job and did it well. Right. And if you go through that over time, that's just SEO gold. So you know how I know we're like so new on this one? Because it's starting to, because we're looking at today, and we've, we've been having this integrated properly for like 30 days now or yeah, so. Yeah, so, something like that, yeah. So, so far, clients aren't using it. <laughs> And which, yeah. is, which, which is fine, <laughs> yeah. but clients aren't using it today. Now, some will use it. But yeah, they'll, they'll get there. And they'll get going on it. But what will end up happening is about two or three years from now, I'm going to guess closer to about three because we're really early on this one. Yeah. Um, it's going to be like a mandatory item, and everybody's going to be wanting it. Oh, I've got to have it. I've got to have GeoTrax check-ins with schema coding wrapped around them so that my site will work properly because my because the competitors are running all over them. Right. Now, anybody that gets started on it today is like has this massive, massive edge on everybody. And and really, I like, it, you know, the, the, the regular work and on like topical authority and branding and all that, everybody has, not everybody, but there is enough people in a market that have service pages and city pages. Now they don't have it to the level that we have. Right. So we still walk in. I was looking at the one that you gave me, by the way, earlier today to look at um, for Righteous, even though they didn't have anything on it yet. You know, they already shown up for dozens. We found dozens of keywords showing up. And they only them. launched like they launched like a month ago. So I the think. point is, is that our sites are superior, and they that that site w without the extra reviews. without the extra stuff. Yeah. Right. So so they had they were in a town. I can't remember the city name. Lee's Summit, Missouri. Okay. So I won't say that. I don't remember. <laughs> they were in Lee's Summit, Missouri, which I believe had like 50,000 people in it. And then around Lee's Summit, it was Olathe and Kansas City, Missouri, which were in Overland Park, which were all Kansas City, obviously huge. And But I think Olathe, Olathe and Overland Park, like, you know, 80,000, 150,000. Yeah. But we had like, so we did city pages and he had like about 15 city pages and he had about 10, I'm sorry, 15 service pages and about 10 city pages. Okay. And what's cool about it is that he can go in there and start to tag every time he does a, a geo check. Tag that service, tag and that then city. Pin, yeah. pin a major map and then pin mini maps and then also show up and take pictures and pin. Right, um, and so the the idea of topical authority and branding and just reputation management reviews is turbocharged on. Now he hasn't used it yet, and as I went into all the cities, he's showing up, and the uh, schema ordered list. I'm sorry, is it schema? Yeah, is that the boxes? That's the boxes, yes, right? That's okay. the boxes. <laughs> I haven't eaten lunch. Uh, it's good. <laughs> but the schema ordered list was uh, compounding the effects of the city pages. Awesome. So when we do a city page, we're off topic a little bit, this is interesting. <laughs> when we do a city page, we do, you know, three or 400 words on the city page, but they also have schema ordered list boxes, which are basically the other pages inside the website. Instead of old school stuff, like, like under, you know, like uh, underlining the word on an interior site link, it's just a much, a much clearer definition of that. Yeah. And so the city page is legitimate more 
and especially in tiny cities all added up, functions much more like an entire website. Yeah, and you've got the structured data, the schema, which it makes it very clear to Google, this is a service, a service we offer, and this is a description of the service, right. and so forth and so on. And this is where you can read about that service, this other page on Which our is kind of like a whole and, website. Yeah, yeah, and it ties them together. So that, yeah. that those internal city pages, I was doing one schema ordered box after another, and he's like, he was in the top 10, and it's like a five week old website. Nice. So, nice. Um, and, and he was originally launched in November of this year, and currently it's, July, so November he, last year. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting my two months off. It's, I'm, I'm off. I'm, it's February. Oh, okay. It's like two months after, two months before, same thing. But <laughs> anyway, it's February this year. And so he'd launched it and gotten zero results and then called us. We relaunched it. And now okay. he's got already on the path of. So he's only had a website since February? He's only had a website all? since February. Okay, all. that's freaking awesome. Yeah. And so it was already integrating with hundreds of keywords. On, nice. on one page, it was, you know, a dozen. And on one city page. The city page only had 3,500 people in it, but we have 10 cities and they're varying degrees of population. Right. And right. so all this stuff, the point is, is that the websites are already super fantastic. He's already showing up for hundreds of keywords that he didn't show up for before, as, as would be evidenced by Google Analytics. And if he would just use righteous reviews, he'd have this really crazy effort that nobody has that is way beyond... I don't even know what to call it because it's not it's it's much larger than reputation management. Well, it is because um, I mean, just properly using righteous reviews pulls in a huge portion of the list that we always talk about yeah. because you've got schema right. for locations and services. You've got keyword relevant content. Right. Uh, Pictures. You have exactly um, rich content in the form of personalized custom pictures that you just right. took instead of stock photos. Right. And then again, you know, like I said, you've got the schema with the locations and all this stuff would just by itself help organic SEO on your website, but with everything else tied into the review and schema and then map drops and all that, all of a sudden it's it cranks up your mapping like crazy, which ties back into your GMB and so forth and so and on. Topical authority and everything so, else. And, I, and I, don't, I don't ever think we've ever built one thing that touches so many parts of no, what we do. We haven't. And, and, I, and, and I, I, all of a sudden, I like the word just a little bit better. <laughs> After, that's a very nice usage of it. Yeah. 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 If, they, if that's all the client did, yeah. If they didn't do anything else but work that program. Right. It, so, it, would, it would be a huge addition to their SEO effort. And it's easy to do. You go in, you you say, I'm here uh, doing this, take picture, servicing X thing, and good send, to go. Send, and um, then send a, a request for review to the cookie, client. Cookie wraps the geo code, mm -hmm. sends it over to the client. When the client does give the review, if and when, that's geo tractor, even if they're eight miles away, because it's got a cookie on it from when they're sitting in front of the house. Right. And then that dumps into the city and service pages and the main uh, reviews page, not to mention the review on Google, Yelp, or Facebook, or wherever it was. Right, exactly. So, yeah. It, and this, this can tie, that this is an important point. This isn't just self-hosted reviews. This normally, like a Google review and a Facebook review, has no location data. But because we use our system to say this review goes with this check-in, that actually gives pertinent location data to those reviews that are hosted on a third-party platform. Yeah, so it, so. it, it one-ups basically what Google's review platform is. Right, Yeah. <laughs> while using their platform, yeah. boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool when you yeah. think about it. That's kind of a confusing concept, really, for my brain right this second. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but it does one-up their platform, because how else would Google know that you're legitimate? Because we talked about this the other day too. So if you're in a, if you're on your GMB account, and you're like, oh, I'm the biggest talk of the town. I'm I service a 30 mile radius, right? Right. And Google's like, okay, fine. You, everybody wants to service 30 miles. We choose to show it here. You know? Right. Then all of a sudden you have city pages. And you're like, well, I, I have all these city pages here so it's further legitimizing. Back in the day, everybody just do fake uh, PO boxes or um, uh, virtual offices to try to grab them. And that's that's effectively That's dead, over. that's gone. Yeah, so now you're still allowed to put up a city page, 
but a lot of people have them and everybody wants it. And so Google's like, well, whatever. And then they come back and let go, wait a minute, these guys actually are doing, this would be very hard to falsify all of this activity, right? Right. Yeah, and the the level of code we're doing to make this work, it would be more effort to falsify it than it is to just do it. <laughs> if somebody went out, so I was talking about this, so somebody goes out to a suburb next to their city. This is a, this was especially important for the guy in Lee's Summit. Because yeah. Lee's Summit, I think, has 50,000 people in it. So he needed city pages around him in order to get enough business. Yeah, he was in a relatively small market, so he needed to group things So let's together. say a contractor's out and about, and let's say that they're doing um, 10 jobs a month or or 50 jobs a month. Let's just use 50, because I like that number. So let's say they're using doing 50 a month, and they're going out to suburbs or city pages, and they check in, and I'm at Bob and Susie's house. I am doing this service in this city. Here's their cell phone, here's their email. And that's it. And then boom, so they hit a drop down. Every page of content that they have for the service is available for them. So they pick their service that they're performing, and then they drop down in every city that's available to them. Depends on what package they had and all that. And then cell phone email. And that, that's all they have to do. It's gonna take like 90 seconds. Right. Maybe like 90 seconds, because they gotta, on your phone, do a web-based app and type in an email on the cell phone. That's what the time frame is. Right. And so they do that, and then all of a sudden, the city page gets a check-in, and the service page gets a check-in, and then if they take a picture of what they did, that gets added to it, and then when the client leaves the, the review, that goes on the reviews tab, not much less the, the platform they're on, and then it also goes on the service and city page. Right. So they potentially had like four or five points of, of data dropped from one deal. Yeah, from one little let's minute the, and a half of effort. Let's say the client doesn't even do the review. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden. Even Google, even even without the review, Google that. respects the check-in. The check-in the is check -in there even without The check-in itself is important. So you can take a picture, you can get a check-in on the service page and the city page, and you did 50 jobs, and it had 100 points without the review. Right. Because people are like, well, I can't get reviews. Well, now all of a sudden you're getting check-ins and pictures added. Right. And if you did get reviews on every single one of them, instead of you'd had um, 200 points of data included on the website. And that, and that means every time you do this, every two weeks to a month or whatever it is that Google is spidering your site, that number is very variable. That's why I gave a range. We do another full one about, the, about just righteous. Again. Yeah, because well, that's what this has turned into. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But um, every time Google spiders it, they see this more more content added, very rich content, data rich content, which is right. what they like to see. And on, on an ongoing basis, they're like, "Wow, these guys are killing it." They're it all doubles over the, the effectiveness of what of what we do. We we right. do we do all sorts of stuff that you that the client cannot do, but this takes it and ramps it all up. And the only thing the only thing I wanted to say about it too is that they can't. I mean, they can't get this sort of stuff. The guy that's already showing up may or may not ever do this, right? In the next, let's say, if this, he stays busy, he won't. In the next couple of years, yeah, there'll come a point in time. That's the sad where part. he has to do it, right, to stay relevant. But um, I would say that less than one percent of businesses, by far, do this currently, and I'd say that way less than one percent do this. And so, if you're in a market and you do this, this allows you to affect branding and topical authority and reviews and organic all at one time for regular work on the site in addition to the things that the web crew does for you. Right. It's crazy. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about and, it. And listen, I, I feel like we're going to, and I mean, we're not, we just, we're going to have a level three, we're going to have a 3.0 of it come out, I would think, within 12 months too. Oh, almost certainly. Yeah. We're, we're so, uh, we're so into it that uh, we were looking today, he was saying that he had looked into this client and they hadn't started using it yet. And just so that we can sort of kind of cajole some of our clients that are getting it into That's using cool. it, I had my developer uh, pull aside today and he's actually building us a tool to go in to the clients that have it and check and see if they've used it and how much they've used it and the results they're getting to cajole them. so that we can call them and say, hey, you haven't used this yet. This is very important. So, right. I mean, this is, this is something we're adding to every part of our process. Back in the day, nobody 
would blog, so we just started blogging for everybody. Right. This thing is so darn integrated into everything, but we cannot do the check-in for them. We cannot, right. this, we cannot get the review. This and real social media is the only thing we can't do. We, we can, can help you manage social media. We can manage media. ad spend. We can manage ad spend. But we're not going to And, get and do like some graphic production and creative on social media. Right. But we can't be there at your job site taking to pictures make it and being, yeah, make it personalized and in the moment, which is the whole point of social. Dang it, Dave, you just gave me an idea. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me about managing real social media for people. Okay. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't need looky loos and people trying to scam <laughs> info off us that aren't real clients hearing it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to hear from you when you're ready to get set up and get dominant online. That's what we do for you. Give us a call. Have a good day. Take it easy.